someone were to ask you, what does Sean Herbig stand for? What would you tell them? Not how they may perceive you, but what would you tell them? I, I would hope they would say uh, uh, quality and, and integrity and, and ethics and, and, and movement, trying to do the right thing, trying mm -hmm. to do the right thing. may not always be successful, but you always have to try. Mm -hmm. I'd hope that's what they'd say. Something we haven't talked about because we focus more on the actual type of work you do. Yeah. But when you have your own business, you have employees. Yeah. And some days they're good, some days they're not. How do you deal with an employee that's just not getting it? Because I would suspect that in your line of work, they might have um, all the window dressing, for lack of a better word, on paper. Yeah. But yet when they have to come in and actually join a company culture, there may be challenges there because of the introspective nature yeah. of the work, in my opinion. Yeah. So it's it can come out in a few different ways. You mm -hmm. know, one is, you, you know, you have to have the chops, you know, in terms of sure. you have to have the statistics, you have to have, you know, the research background, you have to know how to do the job, right? So, you know, if you don't have that, then there just isn't a lot of middle ground. Right. Um, outside of that, then then you also have the desire, you know, and all of the people that, that, that are in IQS really do have a, uh, a grounded desire to sort of make the world a better place. They are kind of mission driven, you know, and I can't instill that either, right? Mm -hmm. And and then frankly, one of the, the biggest challenges that we have to stay on top of is go, okay, you know, again, that statement, statement that I made earlier, interests and passions guide you in the questions you ask, but they can't influence your answers, mm -hmm. right? Well, very often, you know, I see this with clients as much as employees, they say, but Sean, I know this is the answer. I like this hat, like if this isn't what the data say then then the data must be wrong and it's right like, let's let's just get there let's just let the data unfold and let's see what the data say and let's let's figure out what we need to do mm -hmm. you know afterwards but but a lot of it is just a matter of um when something goes wrong though sure let's take it like that when something goes wrong uh it really is just a matter of bringing people back to the basics you mm -hmm. know well, what are you trying to do well i went here because i really thought that was the answer well is that did you really think that was the answer or did the data tell you that was the answer your job is to tell the story of the data are you telling the story of the data or are you telling your story because mm -hmm. we're not you're not hired to tell your story we're not hired to tell your story or my story or even the client's story right. we're telling the story of the data yeah. and if the data says it then good and if the data doesn't say it mm -hmm. then good right. you know but but we've got to you know that that becomes pretty much a guidepost for us and mm -hmm. and, and it's in it, it can be easy in the beginning just kind of lose sight of that but once sure. because you don't recognize it as a guidepost right, right? you just recognize it sort of as an influence mm -hmm. but once you once you know no this is it this is where we live mm -hmm. and it's very easy and people you know sometimes they need to be turned back around a couple of times but in the beginning they'll get it pretty quickly and if they don't then it's mm -hmm. just not going to be a fit. If they don't get it after a couple of tries, then then it's not going to be a fit. Then they need to find other opportunities that fit right. them a little better. Right. Yeah. I thought I'd bring that up because I would suspect that that happens from time to time it, in it, the line of work you do. It, it, it can. It mm -hmm. can. And, and obviously, you know, as, as the years go on, you get a whole lot better at your screening process. Well, sure, and, sure. You know, to avoid so that ahead of that's, time. That's, that's ahead right. Because every, everybody loses when you're in that situation. Well, yeah, nobody, nobody wins. You've yeah. lost money, time. The and, they, and they have to. Mm -hmm. They have to, right? So nobody feels good about that. So you want to make you want to make the best decision in the beginning because everybody wins when you make the best decision. Sure. And, and everybody loses when you don't make the best decision. So.